You know that saying that when life gives you lemons, you should make lemonade? Some people would say that my situation symbolizes that. Except, they would be wrong. My situation is like, life is giving me lemons, but is asking me to make orange juice with it. This is impossible. No matter how hard I try, I can only make lemonade out of those lemons. So life is giving me lemons, asking me to make orange juice, but would not give me the oranges to make the orange juice with. And it's this lack of oranges that prevents me from getting out of Atlantis in the first place. I mean, my god, I've been walking around in circles for what feels like a year. Uh, and I haven't made any progress. Not, not one step further on my journey. Complete total waste of time. I mean, I've been here already. This is when everybody tried to ambush me, but I had a shotgun and they all attacked me with melee weapons. This is the room with the double Z battery, which I'm sick of seeing. It's completely useless. Waste of space. Serves no purpose whatsoever. At least, I don't think it does. Been here before. Oh. I am an idiot. I could have gone down here this entire time, and I have failed to see it. Well, maybe if I walk down here, I can go back on the path of being smart. Uh-oh. Maybe he doesn't see me. Or maybe he's friendly. Oh, of course he is. <coughs> what? I'm back at work. Oh, so it really was a dream. Just like I suspected. <sighs> Man. Wow, that was such a... Weird dream. It was so vivid. Maybe it was a lucid dream. I haven't had one of those in a while, but I still have them every now and then. So I'm back at Black Mesa, huh? Well, that makes sense. Black Mesa never gives people holidays, no matter how much you try and ask. We barely get Christmas, we don't get Easter, and we don't get Halloween. I mean, really? Seriously? Come on. I guess being at work is better than being shot at in the middle of Atlantis, though. That's such an odd concept, isn't it? I mean, plane crashes rarely ever happen, so why would I dream about being in a plane crash? I could use some caffeinated soda to wake me up some more. Ah, it's good to see you. There we go. Yeah. Who said that? Oh, probably one of the guys. Oh, well. Oh, wait. I better check to see if my sidearm's still good. Okay, good. It's still here. That's good. A lot of the guards here prefer 9mm, but I prefer ah, the hello. 357 revolver, because after all, it is a revolver, so it will never jam. Plus, it has a lot more stopping power than a 9mm. It may have less ammunition, but, you know, I think the benefits outweigh the disadvantages. That, and it's shiny. And I like shiny weapons. Makes me feel like a badass. Okay. Somebody's supposed to be guarding the doors here. Why are the doors open and why is there nobody here? Must be Barney's turn. He's always late. He's probably trapped in the tram station or something. He's so lazy sometimes. He's probably going to be fired soon. Can't wait. He always lets the drugs in. I always have to clean up after him. Ugh. No, oh, I better get to my station. I don't want to be out here during the test fire. I mean, I'm a guard, but I'm fairly unknown, so I hear everything. All the building inspectors we bribed, all the electrified toxic waste, all the asbestos-lined air filters, our box-smashing room, the fact that some of our air vents are covered in aluminum grates instead of steel. I hear everything. All the second-rate technology, the tape reel computers, Doors that don't work. Heck, there was that one time when scientists who stole something from Aperture Science supposed to make holes in walls or something or make you walk through walls, something like that. Anyways, it caused the walls to collapse and they were trapped there for two weeks. 
It took the rescue team about a month to find them because this complex is so huge. Plus the fact that we didn't actually hire an architect. We hired an abstract artist. So the design of this entire building is ridiculous. Like MC Escher made it. Hey. Why do you keep staring at me? Do you want to talk? I can show you my 357. It's a lot better than your gun, I bet. No? Fine. Just be silent. Just stop staring at me, please. Seriously. Stop staring at me. What do you not understand about... Look at you, hacker. A p p pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you r run through my corridors. Uh, no. This isn't real. This is just stupid. It's... it's... Uh, 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 ah! What? Where am I? Ah! Oh god! Why, why am I here? No. Ah, gotta get out of here. No! Oh, I don't want to be crushed. I don't want to be turned into a pancake. I don't want to be eaten by people. Oh, I don't want to be turned into soylent greed. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is our trash compactor. How did I get here? It's on like the other side of the complex. Why why would somebody bring me here? Why would somebody try to turn me into a pancake? Are they trying to eat me? No, that that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, well, at least my gun seems okay. It's got all of its ammo. I have all the spare bullets. That's good. Now to get out of here. I don't really need that crowbar. The vent here has been replaced in 10 years. I should be able to just tap it. It'll fall apart. There it is right there. <clears throat> yep. There we go. Not much else to do with it. Let's jump in. What? This isn't right. This isn't Black Mesa. What's going on here? Why? What? what uh, oh, I don't feel so good. If life is like a box of chocolates, why isn't life delicious? What? Oh, God. How did I get here? Why am I just teleporting randomly? Better grab the shotgun in case something happens. Oh, can't get through this door. I can still get through this window, though. Ugh. What is that? Is that an alien? A zombie? Oh, no. It's a zombie alien. Even more dangerous than the regular versions of themselves. Yep, I killed that guy. Killed by laceration. Those things have wicked nails like the thing from Resident Evil does. Whoa, okay, that's a long way down. Oh no. It's that elevator shaft. The one with the ladder on the other side. This thing was designed to kill people who were stupid enough to try and fix it. That's the only reason why I was designed. It was this gigantic social experiment. Unfortunately, it killed half of the engineers. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. No, I can't stop. No! How did I end up here? What is going on? Why is this happening to me? What is... No. Whoa. Oh. 
aliens, monsters, I don't care what they are. All I know is that they're going to die. Gore was part of this! Die, 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 die! Ow! Oh, you're gonna die for that. Die, die. No, reload, reload, reload. Die, die! Who else is there, huh? Ha! Oh, it's a scientist. Hmm. You trapped in there, buddy? Uh, this looks like bulletproof glass. However, if I, uh, shoot it, it should weaken its integrity, and then I can probably kick it open. So, uh, why don't you stand back, and I'll just shoot this open. So, one, two, three. Oh. This wasn't bulletproof glass. It was, uh, shatterproof glass. As in, the bullet could get through, but at least the glass would be okay. I, I think, yeah, I'm gonna leave now. Yeah. Wait a minute. How the hell do I still have my shotgun? <sighs> what? No, no, this isn't right. This is just a dream. I'll hit myself to wake up. This isn't right either. I'll just have to hit myself again. No. Oh, uh, oh. Where am I? Oh, God. Uh, ah, what? What's going on? Why am I being electrocuted? Get me out of here. No, open the door. Why won't you open? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so cruel. Why is life so cruel to me? Oh no. I'm back in Atlantis. Does that mean Atlantis is real? And I'm really trapped here? <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna be trapped here for another year.